It's been a roller coaster, but you stayed. And now I'm taking over for the day. Cause I can be what you wanna be. And I can feel what you love for me. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. So glad that you clicked on this video to join us on our new adventure, which as I'm sure you can tell by the title is that today we are getting a new puppy. It is something that we did not expect to be doing for quite some time because if you have followed us on our channel or anywhere else, you'll know that two months ago we lost our beautiful, beloved American Bulldog Echo. He was only just coming up for three years old. It's been a very tough time. I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys about that right now. And yeah, I'm gonna bring you along on this brand new journey with us. So stay tuned. So just before we head out and go and get our beautiful boy, um, really quickly, if you have not seen my video on grief, then go and check that out. And this video will make a little bit more sense to you guys who have not yet seen that. Um, but yes, we did unfortunately have our beautiful American Bulldog, he had to be put to sleep, he was very poorly and it's been the most difficult few months of our life as a family and I honestly swore no more dogs for a very long time at least. I could never say no dogs never because we are a dog family and I adore dogs more than most people so it's definitely, a, you know, it's something that we would have done at some point, but I just wasn't expecting it to be this soon. Since Echo left, there's just been a massive, massive, massive hole in the home. It just feels colder. It just doesn't, it just doesn't feel right anymore. So I, the other week, start to open up my heart and my head to the idea of another dog at some point. Now, when Echo was here with us, we were going to get a Fox Red Labrador at some point for a brother for Echo, we were gonna get um, another dog. Uh, obviously that did not end up that way with him being poorly and everything that happened there. So the other week I started to look, we started to look at rescue dogs, at rescuing a fox fed Labrador. And every time we contacted anybody who had the rescue pups up, the rescue dogs, they had gone within seconds. So we ran quite a few of them. And they were just all gone by the time that we'd rang them. So I said to Lee that, you know, maybe we should take this as a sign that it's just not for us yet. And as I was looking through the rescue ads, a advertisement came up for a fox fed Labrador puppy. Now, puppies are obviously ideal because you train them to what works for you and they are set in your way, your standards, the way you've brought them up. So again, I thought, right, I will, I'll contact this one puppy place just to see if it's no, it's no, and that is ultimate sign to just leave it. So I did ring this guy up um, and he said that there's no more boys left. He had, I think it was one or two, but they were girls and he said there's no more boys. He then went on to say, however, his sister does have a litter and they are two boys that she has got left. Now, I still am denied and questioned and was unsure about what to do. And then I looked at the pup's date of birth and it was around the same time that Echo sadly left us and I just felt an overwhelming sense of comfort and everyone's beliefs are different but I feel somewhere in my little heart and soul that Echo has sent this little guy our way. So I said yes, we will take the pup and that is where we are at. So it is a two and a half hour drive to where we've got to go. Um, it's just... I don't know where my phone is. I think it's just coming up to about 5 to 10 to 5 to 8 and we have to leave at 8 o'clock. So I'm going to be really quick, drink my coffee and head out on the road. But I will show you what I've got to take to collect him with. And when we go along this journey, we will bring you with us on training or anything else and days in the life and how I'm going to manage as a student nurse and all the fun stuff. So stay tuned for that if you are interested in seeing how we as a family and busy people will work this into our life and make it work. Because let me just tell you now, if you're thinking of getting a dog and you love dogs as much as we do and you genuinely have the love and time to give to a dog, then get one because like children, there's never a right time. Sorry, the light is really bad, but the light obviously is, the window is behind here, so it's making this a little bit dark, but this is his crate, obviously. Um, and we just put the picture of Echo that usually goes on there. Um, we put him on his crate last night as like a little means for Echo's blessing. And he stayed on there last night. 
again just something that we wanted to do as a family but we're not going to be putting his bed in here only just in case he has accidents and things so he's just laid with blankets um he does have a bed but we're going to keep it over there this is what i'm going to be taking with us to collect him so so with it being such a long drive i have gone and bought a car seat like a big hold all car seat let me see if you can move it back a bit uh, it's a really big size actually it doesn't look that big on the picture but it's actually a very big decent size it's very deep it's got a fun little zipper here so you can put things in that you need to take so i've just packed some food bags and some wipes and a bag just in case there's any accidents with it being such a long journey home they skipped around the head seat so it's like a buckle and it just literally unclips i'm gonna say that now i've not took the wrap off it yet <laughs> You could probably do with doing that because we're leaving in a minute. Um, so it just literally unclips and then clicks back in around the headset and you adjust it to your headset, obviously. Um, I keep saying headset and I mean headrest. So literally like a buckle. So it'll clip around the back of the headrest, click it in and you can adjust the size. And then for extra security purposes, once the pup is in the car seat, this also goes around the headrest so this is the headrest and it's kind of like that kind of working if that makes sense if you can get an idea of that so it's extra secure and it won't be going anywhere however i think he'll be on my knee for a lot of the way back just because he will probably be feeling very homesick and a bit a bit anxious so i will keep hold of him for a little while but that is there for the rest of the journey we're not going to bring loads of things with us because we don't want to overwhelm him but obviously we're going to have a little blanket now these are just a pack of i think it was a pack of six from amazon i will on another video i promise i will go through everything that we've got him and, and leave the links and everything but we are in a bit of a rush to get out to go and get him but this is just one of the blankets he's got little homes on it little houses little dog bowls and bones so that's his blanket that we're going to pick him up in and then just a little toy just in case he gets a bit fed up like a little chew toy in the car probably won't play with it but it's there as an option and the rest of the story about the dog i'm not going to give his name away just yet i will i will tell you that later on once we've got him um but what i can tell you is what his name is not and his name was when we were going to get echo him as a brother slash playmate we were going to call him fox because echo's name is part of the phonetic alphabet and the reason echo had e is because there's me india lee and lee's little girl so that's four of us that's a b c d in the phonetic alphabet so when we got echo he was the fifth family member um, and lee was in the marines for nearly 10 years so it was just really fit into the family that he would be number five which was e which would be echo and that's where echo's name came from in case you didn't know um so we were always set on the idea that the next dog we would get would be a fox red labrador um, and we were going to call it fox because that would be the next letter in the phonetic alphabet we're not calling it fox anymore and um, there's an even bigger hearty story as to why um, our pup's name is what it is and again I'm going to go through all that with you later um, but we just got him a little fox red fox to have as his first little snuggly teddy so we're going to bring that with him this is kind of a little dedication for Echo as well because he would have been called fox so we're going to take that little guy with us but that is all we're taking that is it I'm not going to take any treats or anything because I don't want him to get sick so hopefully he'll probably sleep the majority of the way home with it being quite far in the car but it's going to be me lindy lindy me lee and india that are going to go and get him i'll show you little guy once we get him in the car so stay tuned for that Arnie, say hello. Yeah. Arnie is just coming up for eight weeks old and he's a big boy and he is snuggly and he has been asleep most of the way back. He is a good boy. He's very alert. We just stopped off at the services because it's quite a long way back so we've just got him a drink so he's probably going to pee on me on the way back. But well, isn't he beautiful? Yes, yeah. say hi to Arnie. Say hello! He's a beautiful boy. He's very, very snuggly 
and he's very relaxed and chilled which is nice so I will record some more when I get home but we are gonna head back and we'll see you in a bit <laughs> things <laughs> it's so beautiful he's just had a nap so he's now ready for round two of play he's re-energized he's had some dinner haven't you um it's his blanket they had in the car he had a little accident on it but we were in the car for two and a half hours so oh he's got it oh you got it <laughs> what have you got? Hi! Um, I just got him a maze ball but it's a little bit too big for him to get his mouth into so I'm going to have to get him a slightly smaller one. Um, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Good boy. This is Arnie. And the reason he's called Arnie, Arnold, Arnold Arnie Edwards is after Arnold Schwarzenegger because growing up it was a little bit rocky so I had um, made and I know I know I know I know I, I found great comfort in Arnold Schwarzenegger as my genuine hero of life um, and he made getting through a lot of things growing up a lot easier He's very, very nibbly. Um, so with Arnold Schwarzenegger being my genuine life saviour many, many times, um, I thought it would only be only be fitting to give this little guy a saviour's name. Sorry, just watching the cat outside. I know. Give this little guy a saviour's name because Arnold Schwarzenegger saved me and Echo saved me. And what better way to have a saviour sent from Echo than this little guy. This is Arnold and he's a beautiful boy. He's a very playful boy. He was bred and and um, <laughs> brought up on a farm environment so he loves being outside. Luckily we have a very, very big garden um, and he has been running like a bat out of hell around that garden. He has not stopped and he has no fear he's jumping off things and jumping onto things and climbing and he just genuinely he just loves to run so we have a very energetic pup a very good boy and he's beautiful and he is his bundle of love so we are going to leave it here because we're going to go outside and play and burn some more energy off before tea time uh, <laughs> Like, still beautiful, uh, and we hope that you will stay and join us for pup dates because this little guy is starting his new adventure with his his new family. And we're really glad that you're here to join us on this adventure and grow with us together. So I hope you stick around. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, and he says you have to subscribe if you haven't already. So make sure you do that, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, say bye. Bye guys. <laughs>